We're here on Highway 330 uh, between Redlands and Big Bear, the little town called Arrow Bear, Running Springs, we're up in there. One of the climbs I wanted, I'm, I'm an I'm a honorary Big Bear resident, I got my Wattage Cottage up here and I need to have the KOMs too. The hardest one here is what I'm going for today, um, and that was hard because it was set by Robert Hessink, who's much better than me. Um, it was the end of a long ride. He was up here training in Big Bear for the Tour of California, I believe a couple of years ago. And he went and smashed uh, Keller Peak, which is one of the coolest climbs in SoCal. It's, uh, it's, it's a real twisty, windy road. It goes nowhere, so it's almost always empty other than like some weird campers and stuff. And the very top, there's a crazy view, this 360 degree view. And then there's, there's like an observatory fire station dude who's always there. Um, so I'm going to do a little warm-up, and, and I'm going to go for it. I'm going to see if I can beat Hessink. Uh, one thing I, I don't have, or, or that he had that I don't, is uh, he had a long ride in him that day. So uh, I'm going to come into it pretty fresh. I did, I did a few hours on the mountain bike yesterday, but I didn't kill myself. Um, and I've also got this. Got this guy, a little secret weapon action. It's not a secret. Um, in case you're wondering, this is a rental car from when somebody broke into my uh, my actual car, into my, my hybrid. So I, I took a Jeep up the climb today. Um, thanks to State Farm for, uh, for taking care of that um, while, my, while my other car gets, gets taken care of. Um, cool, let's see if we can do it. Uh, so the bottom of this climb is, is it's pretty fast for a second. Uh, you go through the little gate there, and, uh, and, but then it kicks up and, and it's steep at the bottom. And what you wanna do at altitude, you just have to be careful to never ever go hard, because the second you go hard, uh, you you're never getting it back. You cannot recover, and uh, and that's that's the that's the trick is just you're just going thirty watts less than depending on how high you are than you than you really feel like you could. Um, it's it's the the lungs are the issue over the legs. Um, so so I'm definitely keeping that in mind here, especially where it's steep at the bottom and it kind of rolls a little bit after that. It's, it's not, it's real easy to cook this effort and I've done it a bunch of times. I've, I did a lot of repeats in Keller Peak in my days uh, sweating in Big Bear. If you'll notice the, uh, the happy meter on this one, we're still using the happy meter, but it's, it's, it's not changing as I take Robert Hessing's KOM. Why? Because professionals don't care about Strava. That's what I'm here for. Uh, professionals don't care and and he will be his happiness will be exactly the same when I take it or not the maybe like the young guys might they might play around with it but but Hessink is just putting it up there he doesn't he doesn't pay it. I'm sure he will not lose sleep over over his lost uh, crowns uh, but but this is this is again the pros that you don't belong on here stay off of Strava that's that's for for amateurs like you and me um, this is our playground and uh and that's yeah that's that's what i that's what i want to say so the happy meter is just going to sit there with he's equally happy uh before and after i take his kom uh that's funny to me but um so that's that's hessink and by the way hessink is uh he's not a doper i think a lot of people like it's it's become because my my initial thing started with with getting doper stravas um it's now, if I take your Strava, it's almost like I'm accusing you of doping, and I want to be careful with that because uh, that is not the case here. I, I'm, I, I think, I think I've met him a couple times, but I think I, he's a good guy. He, I think he's, I think he's fine. Um, I've, I've heard nothing bad about him to be honest. Um, definitely have mutual friends in Girona, although I wasn't like, he wasn't like in my training crew. Um, he did buy Lance's house though in Girona, which is weird to me. Like that's some bad juju. Um, on the other hand, it's, it's also kind of awesome. And, um, and I, I am sure like everything Lance had was just on fire sale for a while there. So, uh, so he probably got a nice deal. Um, but, uh, anyway, Keller Peak. So this climb, it starts in an arrow bear. So the, when you're driving up to Big Bear from Redlands, um, there's, there's a point where the, where the road tees and and you can go left to, to Lake Arrowhead, or you can go straight, you can keep going up the mountain to Big Bear. So Arrowhead one way, Big Bear the other way. So they called the T, the little town of the T, they called that Arrow Bear. Someone super creative came up with that um, after a couple beers. So so that's that's where we start here, but don't let that fool you. Um, actually, Arrow Bear is kind of, kind of a bad joint. But uh, but the the roads are beautiful. There's nice nature, 
and uh, and the climb is amazing. It's it's like you it's very easy to miss it. Um, there, it's just like a little sign that comes off the road, and it's like park territory. People are camping there all the time. Um, the the pavement once you get to the top, the there is a gate that you have to sneak around a lot of times. I don't know what makes them open or close that gate. Um, I I believe I have to sneak around it in a few minutes here. Um, but the, the road is like paved with little bits of glass, like not glass that's gonna slice your tires somehow. It's just, it's just glass that's like really reflective and, and shiny. I don't know why they did that, but, uh, but it's gorgeous. Uh, then at the very top, there's a view that uh, is, is hard to beat in, in Southern California anyway. It's, it's a 360 degree view. So there's, this is where I mentioned in the book, there's a guy at the top of this who just sits there in a tower and looks for fires. Um, Cause it's, it's, such an expansive view he's he's trying to find fires um and uh you gotta you gotta hang out and talk with him a while because he's lonely and bored as hell when you get up here but if you go if you go to my big bear cabin if you go to my wattage cottage there's a video i did about that i set up a little cabin to rent in big bear uh for for cyclists in the summer so if uh, if you're into that definitely uh definitely don't miss keller peak as as one of the one of the rides you got to do um, it's, it's super cool. So, and, uh, and as you can see, but, but here's the thing, when you go, don't go this fast. Do not go as fast as I am because I don't want to have to do that again. That was, this was painful. Altitude KOMs are a pain. Uh, so don't, don't do that to me. Um, but, uh, if you do remember my rule of thirds in pacing these, these KOMs, you, the first third, you're just thinking easy. Just tell yourself easy. And then the second third, you're thinking steady. And the last third is when you can you can start pushing it. Uh, for altitude, I'd even I might even wait till like the last two minutes to really start going. Um, be be super careful on that. But uh, but there we go. All right, that's that's it. We'll we'll go to music from here.
So that's Keller Peak. Um, yeah, if you're if you're in the Big Bear neighborhood, if you're going up to, to my wattage cottage, or you're just going up there for a weekend or whatever, uh, do not miss that climb. It's easy to miss it because I'm not even sure if there's like a road sign really. Uh, it's just between stuff. But uh, but but get there, check it out. Uh, just don't go too fast.